That was so useless. All right, what a thank God. I'm done. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code itresolves 10 yp for 10% off your entire purchase. What is going on everybody and welcome back to some more standard gameplay. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today. We got a weird one. Uh, we got a really weird one. This deck is by Slay Anything and it's a haunted crabs list as he calls it, uh, which I'm very interested in. Basically the idea is to create, basically make everything a crab with things like Maskwood Nexus. So the idea is that uh, Ruin Crab is obviously the mill feature here. You make everything a land with a Shia, so anytime a creature comes down, it mills. Uh, but you can hopefully play lands from your graveyard and trigger abilities twice with the Ancient Green Warden and then bring everything back with Haunting Voyage if you've got Maskwood Nexus out that plays for crabs. I don't know, it's a weird one, but we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, the idea is essentially though, it's okay if these Ruin Crabs die because we are able to bring them back. Uh, you can foretell this obviously, which is nice. Um, it's, I don't know, this is gonna be a weird, I, I've not tried this deck at all. I don't really know how to describe it. We're gonna be learning together as we go through this. I just thought it looked really interesting. So I kind of wanted to try this one, see what we could do. We do have Innkeeper to help gain us a little bit of life and give us some treasure token, which is nice. Uh, the Meat Hook Massacre is obviously at an all time high in this kind of deck because you can kill everything and then bring stuff back. It doesn't matter. Uh, and then of course, Agadim's Awakening, things like that to bring stuff back as well. So. I don't know. We're going to see how it goes, guys. This should be really, really silly. Uh, we'll go through a handful of games. We may not do the full like 30 minutes, but we'll definitely get some games in here uh, and hopefully have some fun. But again, Slay Anything, thank you so much. Uh, you posted this deck on Aether Hub and it just really caught my eye, so I had to try it. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, now, we don't actually have a uh, blue source for the Ruin Crab, but we do have the Innkeepers. I'm going to try it. Again, this is a learning experience, guys. I've got no idea what to expect with this one, uh, but I do think it will be really, really silly or at least very, very fun. Uh, and so I don't know. We're, we're going to have some fun today. Earlier, we did play the Jun Super Friends list, which was amazing. Uh, truthfully, it was just a really, really good deck. Uh, and so I do encourage you guys to check that one out. Um, I think this is a little bit more on the silly end, naturally, uh, which is fine. I like silly decks, so this is great. Let's gain a life here. Um, little worried about this Delver of Secrets. I'm assuming this is going to have like faded hopes and things like that that we're going to have to worry about. So uh, we will see. They oopsed. Oh, they revealed the Cloudkins here. That's fine. Um, it really doesn't matter. I mean, they shouldn't have revealed it, that's for sure. Uh, but that's OK. Uh, if they were to attack in, we would not block, by the way, uh, just to be safe. Let's go ahead and do this. This is going to mill. Uh, and I actually, OK, hear me out. I'm going to Meat Hook Massacre for one. So this does kill our innkeeper, but crucially, it kills the Delver as well. Uh, and I kind of like that. I don't really want to die to Delver. Delver is just an annoying card. Plus, this is just helpful to have down anyway, because they are probably going to try and kill some of our stuff. So, OK, that's kind of fine. It's not great, but give me a land. Please give me a land. All right. So at least they uh, they take a damage there. All right, that's not great. Um, I mean, we throw this out. Uh, and we pass, I think. I think we just kind of try and get the Maskwood Nexus down uh, at some point here. What this allows us to do is if we have no other plays in hand, we can at least spit out a 2-2 creature uh, that essentially becomes a crab, um, which is kind of funny. So I don't know. This is a weird one, guys. <laughs> I don't really know what to tell you. Uh, sure. This is also kind of an oddball, not an oddball deck, but like just a bit of a stranger one. Um, we do see a lot of Delver decks hitting standard, of course, at the moment, but they're generally not that great. Uh, I'm actually going to attack in here. We can't block. If they want to trade, they can trade. Um, yes, this is a life gain, quote unquote, but it's not all that helpful. Um, 
All right. That just slowed the damage race down. Uh, the Meat Hook Massacre is also helping us out here by padding our life total a little bit. Um, okay, I mean, it's a land. I will take it. Let's activate the ability here and get that 2-2. Uh, that Again, we just kind of want to have creatures out at this point. <clears throat> we can pump the Forbidden at some point as well just to draw some cards, but really we just need lands. Uh, return up to two creature cards. Okay. So we can actually pick anything. That's kind of nice. Um, if we foretell this, we actually can get all of them. But we've only got three at the moment, so it's really not the end of the world. Alright. They lose a life for that, but that's fine. Interesting that they... That's an odd card to to play uh all right i mean we're just gonna keep doing this because we can't really do anything else thankfully this isn't dealing that much to us um at least at the moment okay is this a wizard yeah all right i mean it's funny because basically we just have an endless supply of tutus, which are not that great, but they do have to kind of deal with them because they can block like the Ravager and stuff. Uh, there's a blue land. That's not bad, actually. Um, let's do this. And I think we just leave up the Forbidden here uh, to help us draw a card if we need to. This is a weird, very, very weird deck. Uh, <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> It's not even doing that much at the moment, but I really like it. Yeah, that's fine. What you got? Uh, is it Alron's Epiphany? No, it's Draw. Okay. I mean, that's very good. One top, one bottom, and then Draw. Sure. Alright. If they attack, we just block. Um, they did not. I'm definitely doing this so we can... We just need to draw some stuff here. <clears throat> we do lose two life, I guess, in this transaction, but I'm kind of okay with that. All right. There's old stick fingers. Uh, old stick fingers is actually really funny. Um, we can play this for three, uh, or maybe just two. Let's throw this out first. Let's throw this out for two. Um, this may not be that great. I don't really know. Old Stick Fingers is a great way of filling up the graveyard, which is quite nice. Um, and it is a 5-5 now, so that's pretty good. But they do have just bounce effects in their deck, so it's like not that great. Uh, hey, at least we got around that. That's cool. Uh, we'll create a treasure token. And now we've got a 6-6 six, six old stick fingers, so at the very least, burn is a little bit more difficult to, to hit with old stick fingers. I mean, they can just bounce it, which would suck. Um, ah, okay, well, now we're dead. <laughs> All right, you got us. What a weird, 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 weird game. All right, let's jump into game two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and I mean, I think this is an easy-ish keep. We've got the innkeeper, uh, which is going to give us a treasure token and hopefully get us to a Shia a little bit quicker. Um, oh, nice. So Shambling Gas is quite good as well. Um, if this happens to die, it gets us there even faster, uh, which I like. So looks like green, black. <laughs> All right. Uh, so fully expect that this is going to be not a mirror match. <laughs> I really doubt this is going to be a mirror match, but uh, somewhat similar. Uh, I'm all too happy to attack in here. If they want to, if they want to block, that's fine. That does risk killing the innkeeper, but like, eh. like they could have easily two for one right there, uh, which is kind of surprising they didn't, but that's cool. And they just created treasure tokens. I'm really surprised they're not killing our stuff. Um, Again, not opposed. I'm just saying, a little surprising. Uh, I'm assuming they've got sweepers and or um, kind of big ways to, to kill a bunch of stuff here, but we'll see. Let's play this for blue. Uh, let's attack in. And 
I mean, I think we just passed leaving up Plum the Forbidden. Uh, we could have played the Maskwood Nexus, but I kind of want to see if we can get a Shia down here. Interesting. Okay. Is that good? I, I'm a little confused. Um, this is just a Ren and Seven deck, I assume. I mean, that's fine. Interesting. I've never seen this card played, I'll be honest. Um, let's play this. I think let's go ahead and play a Shia. We get to leave up Plum the Forbidden off of the Ashaya, thanks to these two. Uh, so that's actually kind of good for us. Now everything's a land as well. Now, again, 100% expect that they can kill this. No doubt about it. Um, but if they do, we're just going to use it to draw more cards. So like that's kind of okay. And now we've got the Maskwood Nexus just available to us based on the, the mana that we have. Uh, and so we can actually just make it a crab and pull it back at some point. <laughs> um, there it is. All right. Interesting. I didn't get a chance to respond to that. Uh, is that just because I wasn't in full control mode, maybe? That's fine. All right. Create a treasure token. That's cool. Uh, if they want to minus it, that's great. Yep. I mean, well done. All right, uh, we're gonna play the Maskwood Nexus. It's about all we can do. Uh, and we're, I think, just gonna throw out the World Tree. Um, this is just gonna make mana easier for the rest of the game. Uh, and we don't have another play, really, this turn anyway. Uh, we can't, I mean, we can use the Forbidden just to draw a card, but I'd kind of rather wait, um, see what we can do. Yep, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Um, I mean, you got it. Maybe we should have played the Maskwood Nexus and not the Ashaya first, uh, just so we would have had like this already on the field as a backup plan. Um, but that's okay. Oh, they decayed for three. Very cool. Very good. Um, basically, we're probably just dead. Like, I don't really think there's a whole lot we can do at this point, truthfully, uh, but that's fine. Let's throw you out. Let's throw you out. Um, whoops. Let's spit out one of you. And now we can leave this up for basically three. Um, cool. We'll end the turn. Um, I mean, again, we're pretty dead. Like, there's very little we can do against this board. Um, if they just like meat hook ma or attack and then meat hook massacre, we're like super dead. So, yep. That's fine. Ish. Um, we can block the 7-7, seven, seven, which is obviously somewhat relevant. Um, but they're going to get a copy of it, so... It's not super helpful. I like that they're making use of the Decayed Tokens with this, uh, with the Asika's Chariot. That's very, very... That's just a good way to use these, because otherwise they just die, right? Like, it doesn't really matter. Like, this is going to die this turn. Um, yep, resolve, resolve, it's fine. All right, so let's do this and, um, I'm actually going to try and take out one of these guys. This probably isn't a hundred percent correct. Well, actually, no, it doesn't matter at all. Cause it's not gonna, I should have done that differently. That was stupid. Uh, whatever. Let's draw a couple cards. I should have definitely blocked the stronger creature, the 4-4. Four, four. That was just a lapse of judgment on my end. I was thinking, cool, I'm going to kill it. And then I'm like, no, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> All right. All the land. Okay. And we're going to take a lot. You got it. Uh, I'm thinking this deck isn't very good. I'm just going to go ahead and get that out of the way now. <laughs> Uh, which is fine. It doesn't have to be. It's just fun. Um, but it's not working so well. <laughs> Alright. If you can meat hook massacre, you win. So, like, do that. That's, that's the play. 
There it is. All right, concede. We are amazing. Let's jump into a final game here. I think we're only going to do three because this isn't that strong of a deck. Um, and we'll see what we can do. All right, guys, here we are. This is going to be our third and most likely final game. Uh, do we keep this? It's a bit odd, but sure, why not? Um, I think we're going to lead on the world tree. We don't get Shambling Gas turn one by doing it this way, um, but we can actually just play the Agadim's Awakening for a land and then do the thing. Uh, we'll pay three and we'll get this down. Uh, now, do we want to use that to play this? Um, I'm actually kind of okay with it, so let's do it. Kind of want to take the opportunity to play as much as we can while they don't have a lot out. Um, chances are this is a Demir mil or a Demir control de deck. Excuse me, I cannot speak. Uh, so we're probably just going to be up against a, a very rough matchup here, um, which is perfect. <laughs> Uh, we'll end the turn, actually. I'm gonna wait and hold up the Deadly Dispute. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if they just have a counter for it, of course, but... Let's just see what happens. Either way, we get the treasure token, so it really doesn't matter. Cool. It actually landed. That's a bit surprising. Um, play the blue source. Uh, let's attack in. First. And I'm actually going to play the Maskwood Nexus. Uh, again, chances are this gets countered, but we've got two of them, so... Meh. Fine. Not great, but it's fine. Now we can play another Prosperous Innkeeper after this if we'd like. Uh, and I think I will. I'm going to try it. This gives us a treasure token back if it lands, uh, and if it doesn't, it's kind of okay, but we also gain some life here too, so. I mean, that's helpful. All right, Memory Deluge, sure. Um, We don't get to see what cards they pick off of Memory Deluge, which is a little frustrating, but chances are they're just going to be able to sweep or something. Oh, it's Esper. Oh, okay. Didn't know that. That's interesting. Uh, is this a Leer deck, I wonder? Sure. I mean, we've only seen like two cards from them, uh, but Esper generally, I feel like is Leer. Um, hmm. What do we do? What do we do? An old stick fingers. Let's first attack in. I mean, we can also just not not worry about doing much of anything and just spit out a, <laughs> a little shapeshifter, um, which I feel like isn't the worst idea. So yeah, I'm just going to wait. We don't have to do anything. We can just wait and do this at the end of their turn. Which is definitely the right time to do it, given that they're a control deck. Whoops. All right, let's do it. This also gains us a life. That's helpful. Um, I'm just going to attack in and do a lot of nothing. Until we can do everything, I'm doing nothing. <laughs> uh, we also just get to leave up the Forbidden here as well, which is kind of nice. This is such a silly strategy, um, but it actually gets around a lot of like control aspects. Now, if they have things like Fading Hope and that kind of stuff, they obviously just get to bounce the 2-2s two and kill them and you know do all the bad stuff. But, I mean, it's fine. Ish. We just have a large number of tutus, so it doesn't really matter. Or we will have a large number of tutus, so it doesn't matter. Cool. You got it. Um, just gonna do the thing. I mean, why not? Gain another life, get another tutu. I like it. Um, yeah. There's a deadly dispute. That's quite good. Um... <laughs> Just gonna go ahead and attack with these two. Um, worth noting though, they do get mascot exhibition, I assume, off of this, uh, which is a little scary. Not the end of the world scary, but it is a little scary. All right. Uh, wasn't gonna attack with the innkeeper with the eye witch, by the way. They, just trading isn't really worth it. They're just gonna get environmental sciences. Okay, didn't expect that. 
but that's cool. Uh, sure. Not a lot we can do about that, so you got it. Uh, that is actually quite scary, though, because we do have some very good stuff in our deck. So. I really like the idea of just a steel stuff deck. Like, I, I think there's a lot of support for that kind of deck right now, so it's actually really sick. I mean, they have a million cards. We also have quite a number of cards, and that's not bad for us, but, like, they just have access to basically everything. They have three foretold cards. I assume Doomscar is in there somewhere. Potentially Alron's Epiphany. Like, there's a lot that could be there. I'm trying to set up for just like a really good Meat Hook Massacre. <laughs> um, but we'll see. Oh, perfect. Okay, I mean, not perfect, but like, this actually works out okay. So let's do this. That gets rid of the poison the cup. Uh, so they're not going to get anything off of it, and we just get stuff. Can they kill? Oh, they counter it. Okay, sure. I mean, that's fine. It's not the end of the world. Uh, let's do this. Um, let's attack in. Mine as well. All right. So you do get kind of a freebie turn here uh, where not a free turn, but definitely a free ish turn. Um, chances are they're going to be able to sweep. Can we just. We can meat hook massacre for two or three ish. Uh, alternatively, we can just play old stick fingers and kind of force them to deal with what we've got. Um, I kind of like that better. I hate when the opponent does that kind of stuff. Alright, we got three creatures off of that, so now Old Stick Fingers on its own is a lethal threat. Uh, so they have to deal with it. There's the Doom Scar. Fully expected it, that's cool. Um, not the end of the world. Kinda sucks they were able to do it for so cheap, but I mean it makes sense. It's a Fertile card, like, come on. Alright. <laughs> uh, funny. Um, <laughs> I'm actually gonna foretell this. We're not drawing many land, which is a little annoying, but uh, I think we just leave up the Maskwood Nexus and hope for the best. Uh, Haunting Voyage, if we get a turn where we can actually use it, is going to be sick. Like, look at all the creatures that we have here. Now, worth noting, um, that's actually a bit of a non-bow. Uh, with old stick fingers, and I'm only just now realizing it, but that's actually quite bad with old stick fingers Which is like fine, but All right, let's do this Yay um, Good land is helpful. We need all the land we can get um, I Really wish we had a Shia <laughs> that would be really sick. All right, let's attack him for two Turns out this is a pretty long game anyway, so this is working out all right. Um, do we like Meat Hook Massacre on the face of... No, I don't think we do. Yep. I guess eventually they could run out of cards. Maybe. I mean, it's doubtful, but like that could be a thing. Uh, I would assume they could win by then, but... Alright. The problem we have is they have so much mana at this point, and we don't have that much, so we can't do a ton of, like, doubling up on stuff. Um... Alright, let's sacrifice one. Hopefully draw two cards off of this. Uh, they can counter both, I guess, if they want. I wonder if they counter the... F no, I think they both would... They would have to counter both. But that's cool. Land is helpful. I will take land. Um, okay. That's fine. Uh, our meat hook massacres could just cancel each other out, which is kind of funny. <laughs> uh, we'll wait. I guess just to get out of the main phase. 
All right, let's stick this out there. This does not die because of the meat hook massacre already being out, just for the record. All right, let's throw you down. Uh, and let's throw out a second mask with Nexus. <laughs> Now we can do it twice in a turn. All right, there's the counter spell. That's fair. Oh, what a silly, silly time this is. All right. We're just chipping away, man. It's hilarious. We're in a deadly dispute. <laughs> oh, we got a ruin crab. Um, yeah, I'll play a ruin crab. So truth be told, we kind of want the Green Warden and Ashaya in the graveyard. Uh, and if we do that, we can bring it all back with Haunting Voyage and then just mill them out in one shot. That's like the goal. Um, now, the chances of that happening are quite low. Also, yes, I know we could have Innkeepered then Ruin Crabbed. I didn't want to uh, for the simple fact that Meat Hook Massacre is a card. Truthfully. Um, there's our own Meat Hook Massacre. Okay, uh, let's do this. I mean, do we just play the Green Warden, let them kill it, and kind of force them to do the thing? I feel like that's not the end of the world. Uh, alternatively, I guess we can just Haunting Voyage, but I don't think that that's quite worth it. Uh, I assume, like, a counter, maybe? I don't know, they've only got a couple cards in hand, Memory Deluge being one of them, so they've really not got a ton. Um, we actually have access to more cards than they do, which is kind of funny. Uh, and we might actually just play the Meat Hook Massacre uh, for zero here. I know this is silly, but this cancels out their Meat Hook Massacre, <laughs> um, which is kind of important. Um, just means that, you know, we, I guess, both get the trigger. I don't, I don't know. I don't actually know. This is a weird little dilemma here. This is a weird game. This is a weird deck. This is just a... An odd one. Very, very odd one. All right, cool. We do have this foretold card still that they don't know what it is, which I think is kind of funny. Um, so if we get a free turn where there's just nothing that they're doing, uh, we definitely just throw this out there. Let's mask with Nexus. <laughs> Kill it, counter it, do the thing. Yes, that's fine. All right, um, we'll attack him. I assume they just kill it. Yep, that's fine. Uh, I'm glad we didn't play the innkeeper yet then. All right, let's do prosperous innkeeper. And we pass. Good. Draw more land. Do nothing with your lands. Ooh, very nice. Okay. We'll pass. Let them do the thing first. We'll activate this and block it. Uh, we want to keep the innkeeper on the field if we can, just for the simple fact that it gains us life. So how much mana do they have? They've got a good bit left open. They also didn't activate this, which is important. 9 and 21. So basically, that equates to nothing happening. <laughs> I really want to go for it, but it's like not technically worth it yet. Uh, that's like the problem or the dilemma that I am having. Um, yes, I know. Thank you. Um, I'm being a little ambitious here, but I kind of just want to see what we can get. We need to get a Shia. A Shia is the key. Uh, or an old stick fingers would be kind of helpful, but that's fine too. There's a Shia. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, yes, play it. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Counter it. Please. Or just kill it. I don't even care. It does not matter. Um, I'm going to play the Shambling Ghast as well, just because it gains us a life. And if they sweep, that's fantastic. <laughs> um, 
because chances are one of these is a doom scar at the very least. Oh, they just left it up as a scry. Oh, okay. Put it on the bottom. Yes. Okay. Guys, I want this to work so badly. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Uh, yeah, create a treasure token. Just please don't have a counter. Please don't have a counter. Oh, this is insane. That's fine. I mean, they might as well just... If they've got no counters, they this is the turn to just kind of go for some stuff. Ashai is in the yard. Come on. Come on. Perfect. Hit me. Hit me for seven. Please hit me for seven. Yes. All right, they've got two mana left open. If this is negate, I'm going to riot. But they've only got one shot at it. If this is negate, we are dead. <laughs> Please work. No! No! <laughs> Guys, we tried. We tried so hard. Um, <laughs> that's so sad. Uh, Alright, so we can actually just play this, though, for two. And hope they can't do anything about it. I mean, that's a big ol' card. If they can just kill it, this is so sad. Uh, what? Cool, that's helpful, actually. Um, yeah, do it. Alright, so this does attack in through old stick fingers, obviously, but... Oh, man. What a silly, silly game. We actually do have... if Assuming they don't have a counter, we actually have the win in hand, because we meat hook massacre for three, and then can just go for it uh, with old stick fingers. So, like, we're not... Uh, there's a chance we win next turn. Play the world tree. Let's meat hook massacre. Four three. Uh, I guess they. No, they can't. They've tapped out too much. Is this counter? Ugh, come on. Stop countering everything. Whatever, dude. Attack. Chances are we just die here, though. This is a massive 7-7. Seven, seven. I guess we just hold this up for the block. And then we might still win. They have one card available to them based off of the siphon. And then they drew a card, obviously. I don't know, dude. This is the silliest game. Stop killing my stuff! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Come on! Give me a haunting voyage. That's all I want. That's all I want. Just a haunting voyage, please. This is so silly. This is the most ridiculous game I think I've ever been a part of. That's not true. I've been a part of some really ridiculous games, but this is so stupid. All right, let's just activate this because we might as well. That's less than helpful. Um, and we're just dead. Nothing we can do. We are just dead. Uh, Let's we'll see what happens. Everything's every creature type, so... We have a ruined graph! Are you kidding me? <laughs> what was that? That was so useless. All right, what a... They got... I'm done. Let's talk about this. All right, this deck sucks. Um, oh my gosh. It was, okay, the idea is really good. Uh, I think it's really funny. The idea is to basically replay every creature from your graveyard or even from your deck with the world tree and then just sweep, uh, or not sweep, but mill out uh, the opponent. But we were up against a control deck and it didn't happen. We got pretty dang close. That's all I could ask for. This was a silly one anyway. Uh, so it's okay we didn't win any. I just wanted to see what we could do. Uh, again, thank you uh, to, was it, uh, let me make sure I get this right, Slay Anything. Uh, great name, by the way, for creating this deck. I do think it's very, very silly. Uh, unfortunately, didn't work for us. But that's okay, guys. If you enjoyed it, if you had fun along the way, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are not already. It is a great way to enter that giveaway for a free uh, Crimson Vow bundle. So the winner for that will be picked on November 24th. So you've got, what, 
21 days ish you got a little while uh but anyway guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it have a fantastic day i'll see you again soon for some more gameplay videos